Hi everyone, this is Ivo. This topic I'll talk about Delta DMV VGR virtual camera function. So first of all, you have to uh, download the DMV VGR software from Delta official website and you can get it from download center. After you install, you can uh, get a 30 days of free trial. So here I will show you how to get the uh, software. So you can uh, click the download center from Delta uh, Electronic official website. Then uh, we select the machine vision uh, system. Then we select the software. So you can uh, download either VGR or IDM for testing. After you install, we can log in with the password. Uh, at the manager label, is a default password is a 2222. After that, we can create a new project and click the flow edit. So as you can see here, uh, originally it's a uh, two and we uh, set this project. So the new project will be three. Okay. First time you open, you will pump up uh, this message that uh, remind you this is a trial version. The application will be closed in uh, one hour. As I mentioned here, we were looking with the password. 2222. After that, we can create a new project. So you will see now the number uh, become four. And then we can click the flow edit. So first of all, here uh, we can uh, we click the camera and then uh, select a virtual one. The for the default would be Kiki uh, interface and then we click uh, virtual and we can set the flow. After that you can see over here the camera the camera will have uh, one exclamation mark so we can click here uh, enter setting. Let's back to the explanation. So here is what I already mentioned we changed the camera type of from Kiki to virtual. And then we uh, click camera to register or add the image. At the moment, we support only the, uh, the BMP file format. After that, uh, we uh, register uh, image and then we can back to the flow edit. And uh, because uh, this example, we will check uh, how many are red, uh, sorry, black dots inside. So we use the block function and then save. So here you can see at the beginning, we have only camera output. And after that, we double click the prop. So you will have uh, one prop. And again, we back to the flow. You will find a flow chart you will find here. We have uh, another uh, prop. We will have, an have another exclamation mark. And then we can enter to do a further setting again. So. Uh, here you can see uh, once we click inside and you will show the ROI. So we can uh, select the area we want to uh, check. After that, uh, we click the parameters and uh, change find color from white to black. And then we change the maximum target count and then click save. So now uh, it's back here, we click a camera uh, scroll down to add. Sorry. So we find a VGR test. Okay, we uh, add already uh, add the image and then we back to the flow chart and double click the prop uh, if you still remember. After that, we save. And here you can see, okay, for the ROI, we can uh, select the whole screen. And then we save. So next, uh, we have to do some setting uh, in parameters. Here we select a break. And we change the count number to 20. And then we can click save.
uh, then later we can also switch the mode from edit mode to a uh, wrong mode. And we, if we just want to do some basic testing, we can click uh, this one, uh, trigger current flow. And if we uh, don't want to see this uh, gray level uh, dot, then we can uh, click uh, auto ratio. So after click uh, auto ratio, you will see only in the black uh, dot will uh, remain. And then we can also sh uh, do the display setting. For example, we just want to check uh, how many uh, counts uh, here. So we can uh, click the text and select a flowchart one prop and click counts. So after you trigger, you will show how many uh, prop found uh, on the image. Okay. Okay, now here we add the display setting and click the text. Here we add on a uh, prop and count how many uh, circle and you can also change the color over here. Example, now we change to rate and then set. So here you can see uh, the count is uh, 12 and if you want, don't want to see this uh, gray one, you can click the auto straight. And as I mentioned here, you can also switch to a wrong mode and trigger. Okay, so that's all for this topic. Thank you.